Hi, what I want to look at in this video is a very powerful feature of Power Music Professional which probably you're not aware of and that is the ability to import into Power Music an entire folder or an entire CD of sheet music PDF files. You don't have to import them one at a time, you can bring them all in together. Now, in uh, the field of worship music particularly, there are a number of these digital songbooks available. This is one from Matt Redmond, there's one from Delirious, uh, you get them from Graham Kenrick, Tim Hughes. Also there are things like the Best of Songs of Fellowship, which is a CD which comes with about 700 or so songs. Um, the Worship Digital Songbook and so on. And these are all CDs that contain, among other things, a folder of PDF files of the sheet music. It'd be really nice if we could just import all of these into Power Music so we'd have them available. So that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So to do that we have to go to the file menu and in the file menu we're going to go to multiple PDF import. The one we're going to choose is multiple PDF files with one song each. It's just telling me exactly what it's doing and it's going to close down my main editing screen while it does this. So, I've taken the CD out of the Matt Redmond uh, digital songbook and I've put it into the drive of my computer. It doesn't have to be on a CD, it could simply be a folder sitting somewhere in your My Documents or somewhere in your computer that you can browse to and that folder contains the PDFs of the sheet music you want to import. Okay, so I'm going to go to my CD drive or my DVD drive here, open it up and in the Files we find a folder of sheet music. Now you might have to browse around inside the CD to find these, but it's usually pretty obvious that there'll be in a folder called sheet music. So we'll select that and say OK. And this can take quite a while if you've got a very large number of files. Each of the files in the CD is named by the title of the piece of music. That's the normal convention. So if that's the case, then you just leave this radio button ticked here. Use the file name for the song title. If, however, you have a set of PDF files where the title is embedded in the PDF, then you can click on this radio button to do that. But the normal setup would be the file name would be the title and first line, perhaps, of the piece of music. So leave that one ticked there. This is a list of all the songs that it's found on that CD, there's 50 of them there, and I can select individual ones to import here, or I can just say let's import them all, which is normally what you'd be wanting to do. Okay, so what options do we have for the import? We can set the number of pages per screen, so we'll just leave the default of two pages per screen, because I use a widescreen monitor and that's the way I want to set it up. Uh, just ignore this bit about subfolders, it's really only if you get huge music libraries and you want to start putting stuff into subfolders. And by huge I mean 20, 30,000 pieces of music. Okay, what we can do also is import it into a library. Now I've previously set up a library called Matt Redman, and I'm just going to select to put it into that library. If you don't know about libraries and categories, then I suggest you go and watch the video on that. I'm also going to give them all a category, and since these are all worship songs, I'm just going to give it the category of worship. So each one of these songs is going to go into the Matt Redmond library and with the category of worship. And you can set up as many different categories as you want to give to this. Settings. Again, you don't need to change anything here. Um, the DPI is about 150 DPI, which is more than enough for even a full HD screen. If you do want to import the music in colour, then you can select that, but be warned that colour is a much larger file size, so it will take up more space on your hard drive, and it could slow down page turning as well if it's in colour. So leave all the defaults there. Go back to Details, and let's just do the import now. So we'll click on Import. Go and make yourself a cup of coffee or tea and sit down and wait for it to import. As I say, we're only importing 50. It might take a minute or two. If you're doing five or 600, then it takes a wee while to do it. OK, so that's us getting towards the end. We're at 49 and 50. And you can see as it goes along the progress bar, that's just a wee report to tell us that everything has been imported correctly. We'll close that down. And over here you can see again the list of all the songs that have been imported. So that's me finished, so I'll just click on Finish. And if I now go to my All Songs, what I have then is all of the sheet music from that CD imported in two pages per screen. 
And if we go and look at the details, you'll see that the library is in Matt Redmond and it's a worship and it's brought in the first line, the title and so on. If I just go to my Matt Redmond library, that gets rid of everything else and there's my 50 songs and 50 titles. Very easy to do, very quick, gets the stuff in. If I display it full screen, you'll see there it is, uh, the full screen version. Just click the page. And of course you can go and change the number of pages per screen you want and things like that. That's how you can get them into Power Music Professional. If you then want to put them onto your iPad or your Mac, then the best way to do that is using the box. You would basically open up the box, log in and copy them all up to the cloud and then go onto your iPad or whatever and download them from your Power Music Box account into your iPad. Obviously you need Power Music Professional, this facility is only available in the professional version, it's not available in Essentials, the Mac or directly in the iPad, although they all allow you to import individual PDF files. So there you are. Uh, if you look around and you can find these uh, CDs of digital songbooks, then it's a good way of getting a large amount of music quickly into your computer. And I believe at the, the new Songs of Fellowship 6, when you buy that, you get a voucher which you can use and you can download all the PDFs of Songs of Fellowship 6. And again, you can use exactly the same method, obviously this time browsing to a folder on your computer where you've downloaded them to rather than on the CD. So I hope you found this useful, uh, a quick way. It's obviously very useful as well for non-worship uh, music. There's lots of uh, fake books and things like that around with the music in PDF format. And as long as the file name is the title or the title's embedded in it, it will do it all automatically. Thanks for listening.